Oh, there you are, YouTube. Do 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 do. Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. Hey, I think we're gonna do a random ranking. We're gonna go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random, and then rank those movies based on whatever criteria we come up with. I'll rank them here in the video, but if you'd like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so. Let's get to picking some movies. All right, how often do I pick from right here, or maybe, maybe like? this section do i pick uh, i think i feel like i do pick from over there so let's do uh, i don't know let's do whatever this movie is this feels familiar you know what i'm gonna pick the one next to it and then let's do right down here and see what happens oh that's wide <laughs> ah okay that's a show So we'll do this instead. What did I just pick this? I did. All right. Got it. Got it. And then let's let's try this. It's never been opened. Haven't seen it. This is taking longer than expected. Okay, that works. Ooh, we got two horror films. Two of them. All right, here we go. First we have Romero's Night of the Living Dead right here. Wait, oh, okay, sorry. I was like, okay, <laughs> I, was, I was seeing Romero up there, so I'm like, Romero's, but this isn't. This is Savini's Romero's Night of the Living Dead. Um, see right here because I, I turned it around and I was like wait this is color so Tom Savini it's, it's the remake Tom Savini's George Romero's Night of the Living Dead um yeah so this is this is good I like this remake um the comic to get you Barbara um you know it's it has a lot of the a lot of similarities to it especially it's kind of interesting a lot of the pictures on the back here are just from the the beginning of the movie a must for every horror fan to see. But what do we think of this art here? I think I've done this before. Uh-huh. Kind of hard to match. Anyway, uh, yeah, I like this, uh, this remake. I've only seen it maybe... I don't know, two or three times, but from what I recall, it is, it's a, uh, it's, it's a worthy remake and it's, it's pretty good. Next we have another horror film. It follows right here. Um, a film by David Robert Mitchell. I could not have told you that. That, I don't know that director, I guess. I mean, I know this movie, seen it many times. Man, that print is small, but I'm trying to... Okay, Micah, Micah Monroe, who was just in Long Legs. And she's really carving out a spot for herself in horror. There was that time in um, when they made Independence Day 2, when, when she was in that, where I feel like she was on a trajectory to try to, like, making it to mainstream Hollywood. But that movie bombed. It was so bad. It was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Uh, block like a blockbuster with like big actors and stuff it was so bad it was not good but what it was setting up seemed interesting to me so unfortunately it bombed it was terrible it was not good reviewed in a very negatively but I really did like where things were going and it's unfortunate because it seems like we're never gonna find out more and that's why I don't like when movies do a setup because if the movie is not good enough then I don't like that sort of like setup for another one because we won't get more. So just don't do that. Stop doing that. Stop setting up other movies so blatantly, like maybe in a spot to where there can be like a hint of it, but don't make it so, so obvious because I, if they, if they, if it doesn't get made, then we have this movie that looks like it's supposed to keep going and then it doesn't and I don't like that. 
anyway, Micah Monroe's in that movie. And, uh, but yeah, it seems like she's doing a lot of good horror stuff right now. Was she also in The Guest, I think? And then this, and then, um, Long Legs, which I haven't seen, but I saw her in some movie last year, uh, over Halloween, where, you know, there's like a, uh, is it like windows or something? They're like, she sees somebody watching her or something. I can't remember what it was called. It was called, um, I think I can, was it called, um, Watcher? Maybe that was it. I think it was called Watcher. But anyway, she's doing great. And I really like this movie. Um, freaky. Uh, it, it takes place in like uh, Detroit in some weird year that doesn't really exist. It has, you know, that clamshell phone thing. You know, that, that adds some strangeness to it. Because it's like, when is this? Because, uh, you know, those things don't exist. Man, this is heavy. How many discs are in here? Three. Next, we have Collateral. Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx was nominated. And he's definitely the lead in this movie. But I believe he got a supporting actor nomination. Was this also the year that he was nominated for Ray? Is that right? Someone help me out with that. Um, I think it is. So, let's see here. Um, what am I, let's see. Uh, yeah, Michael Mann, of course. Uh, oh yeah, and that's what I like about Michael Mann's movies during this time. Um, they're like, I, I don't know fully how it's done, but it's like, it, his movies look like when I take a picture with my old phone in a dark area, so it's like digital photography, but done with poor lighting or something, and it gives it this really unique wild texture, because I feel like, like this movie had it, maybe Man on Fire had it, and he, he did Man on Fire, right? Uh, Miami Vice, there's just, there's something unique to it. I feel like Soderbergh even had some movies that were kind of like that. I don't know, I kind of like that. All right, how are we gonna rank them here? You know, all these are good, I like all these, right? Um, you know, I'm gonna, Collateral is great, it's a wild ride, it's Tom Cruise unplugged, as it says back here by these critics. Um, it's a pure adrenaline rush, it's dazzling, you know, like all those things. But I think what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go It Follows first. We're gonna have a horror sandwich. Horror being the buns and Michael Mann being the meat. So It Follows, then Collateral, and then we're gonna move on to Tom Savini's George Romero's. Do you say George A. Romero or just George Romero? Or do you say, just say Romero? It says A there, but I, I don't always toss that in. George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead, but it's Tom Savini's George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. I'm gonna put that at the end. Um, yeah, it follows just because it's a good horror film that I, I just like to watch quite a bit. I've seen it a handful of times. Collateral, strong picture with really cool visuals. Tom Cruise playing that villain, doing some interesting things. And then, um, again, Tom Savini's George A. Romero's Not a Living Dead remake. So, uh, this is my ranking right here, but my question to you is, have you seen these films, these three right here? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below, and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.